Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully with him in psalms. For the Lord is great. He is a great God and the great king above all gods. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many know, how many know that he is a way maker? He is a way maker. He is a miracle worker. He is a light in the darkness. know that God is a way maker and a promise keeper and we thank you right now Lord we thank you most gracious Heavenly Father thank you Lord Father we declare that we love you because you first loved us we thank you that you have made the way of love to us through your son Jesus Christ we pray that we 
that you will reveal this great love to us all today as we gather to worship in your holy name. Lord, guide us and protect us. Let your Holy Spirit receive the praise today. Have your way in this worship service, Lord. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, to see how great, how great. May we rise and sing our hymn of praise. Yield not to temptation, for yielding is sin. Each victory will help you, some others to win. Fight the meaning foe on word, dark passion subdued. Looking everywhere to Jesus. Yield not to temptation. For yielding is sin, each victory will help you, some other to win. Fight manfully onward, dark passion subdue, look ever to Jesus, he will carry you through. to help you accomplish and finish keep you he is willing to aid you he will carry you through shun evil companions bad language disdain God's name holds in reverence no Take it in vain. Be thoughtful and earnest, kind hearted and true. Look ever to Jesus, He will carry you through. Ask the Savior to help you. Comfort, it and keep you. Jesus, he will carry you through. Ask the Savior 
to help you Comfort, strengthen, and keep you He is willing to aid you He will carry you through Ask the Savior to help you Might we still our hearts for the Holy Scripture. The Holy Scripture will be coming from Jeremiah 1, verses 14 through 19. Hear these words. The Lord said to me, from the north disaster, we will be poured out on all who live in the land. I'm about to summon all the peoples of the northern kingdom, declares the Lord. Their kings will come and set up their thrones in the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem. They will come against all her surrounding walls and against all the towns of Judea. I will pronounce my judgment on my people because of their wickedness and forsaking me and burning incense to other gods, and worshiping what their hands have made. Get yourselves ready. Stand up and say to them, whatever I command you, do not be terrified by them, or I will terrify you before them. Today I have made you fortified city and iron pillars and a bronze wall to stand against the whole land, against the kings of Judea, its officials, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the readers of his holy word. Thanks be to God. Amen. It's prayer time, church. declares that every knee shall bow. I was glad when they said, let us go unto the house and worship our God. Heavenly Father, may nothing separate us from you today and every day of our lives. Teach us how to choose only your way in our lives so each step will lead us closer to you. Help us to walk by your word and not by our sight, not by our emotions nor feelings. Help us to keep our hearts pure and undivided. Protect us, dear Lord, for your children need you every hour, every minute, Every second, Lord, help us right now, Lord Jesus, to embrace the things that you send our way. Receive them as a blessing, as an opportunity rather than a personal inconvenience. Keep us, Lord Jesus, right now from the distractions of this world, the troubled world, the chaos in this world, Lord Jesus. Keep us, Lord. Keep us right now, Lord Jesus. Let the distractions not be by our wants, 
not by our desires, not by our thoughts, Lord Jesus, but stayed on you, Lord Jesus, that we will do your blessed will. We ask that you allow us to rest in your truth. Go before us, Lord Jesus, and protect us. Protect your children today, Lord Jesus. Protect our children, Lord Jesus. Protect this world, Lord Jesus. Protect our families. Protect us. Protect everyone that you planted and created on this earth, Lord Jesus. Protect this whole world, Lord Jesus. For we need you right now, Lord Jesus. We need you to cover us, Lord Jesus. We need you to protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger that this world brings against us, Lord Jesus. And we will stay in your will, Lord Jesus. Bless us one by one. Bless us collectively, Lord Jesus, that we can be on one accord, marching up to Zion to praise your holy name and to worship you today, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for keeping us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're about to do in our lives. Lord Jesus, we just say thank you. We can't thank you enough, Lord Jesus. We can't thank you. But we receive it right now as a victory, Lord Jesus. And we say thank you, Lord. We praise you today, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We give you the glory and the honor. And all praises are due to you. And we just say thank you, Lord. We have so much to be grateful for, Lord Jesus. So much. Bless our pastor, our first lady and sister Henry, and all those who have traveled to Africa and Ghana on a mission for you, Lord Jesus, to do your blessed will in their absence, Lord Jesus. Be with them and protect them, Lord Jesus. Give them travel mercies, Lord Jesus, for their going and coming, Lord, and when they return, that they may return safely unto us, Lord Jesus, and return home safely. Lord... Bless the sick. Bless the sick that are in the hospital, the convalescent homes, and their homes. And even those who are among us right now, Lord Jesus, that have illness. Send your healing power down. Fall fresh upon us today, Lord Jesus, because you are a way maker. And we know that you will keep us, Lord Jesus. Bless those who are grieving amongst us, that they might receive comfort, that they might receive your peace that surpasses all understanding. Bless the preacher of this hour today, Lord Jesus. Fill her up, for there is a word from you, Lord Jesus. Use her right now, Lord Jesus, that this word will be birthed unto, from her, Lord Jesus, that it will fall on fertile ground, and the sea shall be planted in each and every one that's under the sound of our voices, Lord Jesus. That we will rise up victorious. Rise up for the upbuilding of your kingdom, Lord Jesus. Bless Reverend Rogers today, Lord Jesus, as she brings forth this message. Bless her today and touch her. Use her right now, Lord Jesus. Bless this music ministry. Bless the ushers that keep it at the door, Lord Jesus. Bless the leaders of this church. Bless the congregation. Bless us all, Lord Jesus. Bless the sound tech. Bless the media committee, Lord Jesus. Bless us all today collectively, Lord Jesus, and bless this country. Bless us, Lord Jesus, and let your peace surpass all understanding again upon this world today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Consume me now, sweet perfume, his
after the music selection, let us welcome Reverend Rogers as she brings forth the word today. Amen. God bless you this morning. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. How about you out there? The first full week of a brand new year has already come and gone. And I'm going to praise God this morning. Put your hands together just like that young lady. Come on, everybody. Listen, this is why I came to church and said, Get down. I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. I'm already warmed up. Everybody, come on and say it. I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. Oh, yes, he is. I will. I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. thank God for another opportunity to come before you this morning. I bring you greetings also from our pastor, Reverend Clayton. I got pictures that they were enjoying themselves and doing God's will over there in Ghana. 
Amen. And we will be praying for them to have a safe journey home. Amen. Amen. I want to thank Reverend Terry Williams for coming out today. For she's not feeling the greatest, but we thank God for her for reading the scripture this morning. Thank you. You know, there's so much going on in the world today. And God has been working with me trying to tell me what to tell you today. When I heard the news about a first grader shot his teacher, what in the world is going on? So the title of the sermon for today is Living in a Cesspool but Strong as Iron. Living in a Cesspool but Strong as Iron. Coming from Jeremiah 1. Verse 14 through 19, with the emphasis on verses 18 and 19. Thus readeth the word. Today, I have made you a fortified city, an iron pillar, and a bronze wall to stand against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its officials, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Let us pray. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, no other help. I know. Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen and amen. Living in a cesspool, but strong as iron. I know most of you are wondering, what in the world is a cesspool? Hmm. Well, Webster defines cesspool as a disgusting, corrupt place. The book of Jeremiah was directed toward a time in history of the nation of Judah when the people were living in a cesspool of sin and rebellion. Morality that remained from previous years was quickly eroding. There was weak leadership on a national level and also within the religious hierarchy. Moral integrity and committed commitment to God of Judah had been exchanged for compromise and idolatry. In this climate, there was room for only one of two outcomes. One, radical repentance on a national level. Or two, divine judgment executed on a rebellious, disobedient nation. Now the prophet Jeremiah ministered to Judah during the last 40 years of the nation's history from 627 to perhaps 582 BC. In spite of his faithful preaching of the word, Jeremiah watched the nation decline until Judah was taken captive by the Babylonians and Jerusalem and the temple were destroyed. He expressed his grief vividly in the book of Lamentations. He was a priest called to be a prophet, a sensitive man called to comfort kings, false prophets, and hypocritical priests. He was bold before men, but he was broken before God. And as he called, as we called him, the weeping prophet, he was faithful to the Lord, and he accomplished exactly what God's will was. 
The book of Jeremiah reveals which of the two paths the nation chose to take. Let us look now at this example. Have you ever seen an ironclad beetle before? Ironclad beetles are known for their tough exterior, which protects them from predators. This insect's hard outer core shell stretches rather than cracks when under pressure. Its flat back and low profile also help it to resist fractures. Scientific test shows that it can survive compression force of nearly 40,000 times its body weight. Just as God has made this bug extra strong and tough, he gave resilience to Jeremiah. The prophet would face intense pressure when he delivered an unwelcome message to Israel. So God promised to make him an iron pillar, a bronze wall. The prophet wouldn't be flattened dismantled or overwhelmed. His words would stand strong because of God's presence and rescuing power. Throughout his life, Jeremiah was falsely accused, arrested, tried, beaten, imprisoned, and tossed into a well. Yet, he still survived. Jeremiah also persisted Despite the weight of inner struggles, doubt and grief plagued him. Constant rejection and the dread of the Babylonian invasion added to his mental stress. Do you sometimes feel like Jeremiah? Imprisoned by your fears, the weight of inner struggles, being falsely accused or burdened by your grief and by your pain. God continually helped Jeremiah so that his spirit and testimony weren't shattered. When we feel like giving up on the mission he's given us or backing away from the living faith-filled lives, we can remember that Jeremiah's God is our God too. He is our God too. He can make us strong as iron because his power, his power is made perfect in our weakness. So stay in the word. Go to Sunday school. Call on the prayer line. Call on the Bible study. Call into the church. Be here at Bible study. Read God's word daily. Sunday school, make sure you attend Sunday school. I'm amazed of the plan that God has for our lives. It also amazes me that when we fail or we refuse to follow God's plan, that instead of pitching us out, he forgives us and protects us. Thank God. God's servant must have open eyes as well as open ears for God can speak through what they see and what they hear. God touched Isaiah's lips to give him purity. The touch of God makes a difference between success and failure. God touched Jeremiah's lips to give him power. God touched Jacob's hip and gave him a lamp, thus helping him to become a prince with God. God touched Daniel and set him on his feet, gave him strength, and opened his mouth for ministry. God touched Moses, for he did not feel adequate for the task, but God, but when God called him, God reassured him. The call of God and the touch of God must go together or we fail. 
Are you available? Are you available? Are you available? Which circumstances are threatening to crush you? Maybe it's COVID. Maybe it's the new COVID, XBB virus. Maybe it's your children. Maybe it's your husband. Maybe it's your wife. Maybe it's your family or your health or your finances or your depression. Or maybe it's the people on your job. Maybe it's your classmates. Maybe it's your classmate who killed or shot the teacher. When God calls you to a task for him, he does not ask you to be adequate. He only asks you to be available. Available. So remember, although you may be in a cesspool, God can make you strong as iron to do his will. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of any attacks against you. The, because they cannot harm you. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. For the armor of God will protect you. You are strong like a fortified city that cannot be captured. You are like an iron pillar and a heavy gate of brass. For God is with you. He will deliver you. So just trust him. Trust him. When you are walking through a stressful season in your life. And you are looking for a place to calm your nerves. The very safest place. And the most peaceful place. Is the presence of God. When you cross across and over into the holy of holies. Just take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Everything will disappear. Everything will disappear. Your worries will disappear. Your cares will disappear. Your troubles will vanish. Just let it go. Let yourself go. So spend quality time with Jesus. Let go of your fears and your troubles and your anxieties. Although you may be in a cesspool, mm, God can make you strong as iron. And you can do his will. You can do his will. The words of Tremaine Hawkins says, The potter's house, in case... You have fallen by the wayside of life, dreams and visions shattered. You're all broken inside, and you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The potter wants to put you back together again. In case mm, your situation has turned upside down, and all that you have accomplished is now on the ground, you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The potter wants to put you back together again. You who are broken, stop by the potter's house. You who need mending, stop by the potter's house. Give him the fragments of your broken life. My friend, my friend, my friend. The potter wants to put you back together again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Case you have fallen by the wayside of Dreams and visions scattered And you're all broken inside Hallelujah You don't have to stay In the shape that you're in The fire wants to put you back together again Yes, yes oh, The fire wants to put you back 
together again In case your situation Yes, yes Has turned upside down Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord All that you've accomplished Is now on the ground Yes, yes. If you don't know the man from Galilee and you don't know which way to turn because you're in a cesspool of sin, I want you to repeat after me right now. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, forgive me of my sins. And give me another chance to better serve you, oh God. Strengthen me. Build me up where I'm torn down. Help me to meet the challenges of 2023. Because you don't know, Lord, what I'm going through sometimes, but I know you know. So, oh God, touch in a mighty way. Heal, Father, where healing needs to take place. Strengthen where strengthening needs to take place and deliver those that need to be delivered, oh God. And Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Dear God, please strengthen us to meet the challenges that we face today. Make us strong as iron in our spirit and our testimony won't be shattered. Make us strong, Lord, because God's power is made perfect in our weakness. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. We give you the glory and the praise. Amen and amen. God wants to put you back together again. Yes, yes. Salvation. 
Bless you. Yes. God keep you. Thank you Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God is so good. Thank you, Lord. 